Hi, I think we're live now. We appreciate you joining us. Um, sorry if you uh, logged in at 11 and uh, we're expecting to see this marine discussion. Apologize for the technical difficulties, but glad you could join us now anyway. Um, my name is Sam Bolt. I'm the Southeast Regional Sales Manager for Blucher, a Watts brand. Um, today I just want to talk to you a little bit about the uh, marine sector and how Blucher fits well into that. Um, you know, about two years ago, accepting the role of Southeastern Regional Sales Manager for Blucher, um, it kind of, uh, you know, by, by uh, geography puts me real close to the water, which I'm okay with that. Um, and so um, by default, I kind of became the marine guy, if you will. Uh, one thing that I found out um, through this process in the marine sector is that um, it's much like uh, your traditional commercial MEP coordination when it comes to the construction of the vessel. Um, in fact, so much so that plumbing is pretty much everywhere on a vessel. Um, the drains and drain piping on a ship are routed so intricately throughout um, that it, it's actually a, a much more daunting task than traditional commercial MEP construction and coordination. Um, so where would you use Blucher in a vessel? Well, pretty much everywhere. Like I said, the balconies, uh, the cabins, the kitchens or the galleys or pantries rather is what they call them. Um, you know, there's deck drain piping where the, the rainwater and the water that splashes up over the side of the vessel will get drained off, uh, much like overflow drainage. So, a few things that I want to touch on when it comes to uh, drainage is that, um, you know, on cruise vessels and any vessel for that, for that matter, whether it be a military ship, wherever there's a large congregation of people all together, real close, um, you're really concerned about the well-being of the passengers on board. Um, this is something that, the, you know, say the cruise industries have known for a really long time. Um, and they practice really good hygiene. Um, so, you know... Uh, when it comes to the drains, we already know that the drains are dirty. So uh, stainless steel has a, a unique, uh, few unique benefits that can guarantee you know maximum hygiene. Uh, that's pretty important when you talk about bacterial growth. So the stainless steel and the, the low surface roughness will significantly decrease that bacterial growth, uh, just kind of ensuring clean and hygienic conditions on board. So stainless steel, uh, Blucher stainless steel push fit piping is strong and lightweight. Uh, that's pretty important depending on what sector in the marine industry you're talking about. Um, say a combat vessel or some type of, uh, you know, offshore patrol cutter for the Coast Guard maybe. Um, you know, you need a strong pipe. Um, you need something that can be chemical resistant because, you know, what if this is the oil and gas industry? Uh, Blucher is often used on offshore oil and gas platforms. Um, it's a lightweight, lightweight push fit system, so it will contribute to the total low weight of the vessel. So I like this video. Let me make sure this volume isn't too loud for you. Um, this is kind of uh, uh, showing torpedo testing. This is just how durable Blucher piping is. Hey, hey. Again, notice how the Blucher pipe and fittings don't separate as violent as that impact may be. So along with being uh, strong and durable, uh, I like to call it the fireproof pipe. Um, it's, it's definitely non-combustible. Stainless steel can withstand temperatures almost 1500 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, that's about 800 degrees Celsius. Uh, it's a highly fire resistant material. All our Blucher pipes and fittings um, are fire tested in accordance with IMO standards. That's the International Maritime Organization standards. And all of our deck and bulkhead penetrations are approved to A0, A30, and A60. So we take fire pretty seriously when we're on vessels and Blucher um, takes it pretty seriously as well. 
So this is just kind of a nice video showing an example of the fire testing that got done on a lot of our blooper products. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Oh, sorry about that. I hope you enjoyed that. I, I really like that video. It um, shows a lot of the hard work that goes into a lot of that testing, that fire testing. Um, so back to the Blucher pipe. Um, I just want to reiterate that this is an easy install. This is a push fit system. It's a bell and spigot, much like uh, many other DWV piping materials would have. Um, you know, it, it, it actually w would require less hangers in most cases, less supports because of its light weight. So here's an example, just a short analysis of a case study that was done on the total labor savings because the piping is so easy to install. Um, I'm not going to go through this in great detail, but you can find the full case study at blucherpipe.com under the resources tab. So in short, the scope was 48 connections um, being welded, I'm, I'm sorry, uh, 48 connections per day being welded took a total of 146 days. 480 connections per day using a Blucher push fit system only took 15 days. In total you can see the manpower cost was significantly decreased and again you can find more information on that at BlucherPipe.com. So I just want to take a minute and just recognize a few products. This is one that, that I kind of really like and purchasing managers and, uh, you know, uh, foremans and, and, and installers out in the field really like this as well. This is a, a universal flange and kind of what this does is it eliminates three different flanges and it allows you to only have one piece and you can go in between ANSI flange, DIN flange, and uh, uh, JIS flange patterns. So it's a really unique product and uh, feel free to reach out to us if you want some more information on that. Another neat new product that we have that I'd like to introduce is uh, the non-welded deck penetration. Uh, oftentimes when a, when a piping passes through a bulkhead or a deck on a vessel, a lot of time is taken to cut out that hole and then weld the, uh, the penetration to the deck. Well, this eliminates the welding for that. And so kind of what would happen is one person can install this from above on a deck. They would drill a hole down through, just place it down and uh, tighten these, torque, uh, torque down these nuts on the top. And this actually will, will close down on the deck and it's got a, a seal there as well. And again, uh, this is uh, A30 and A60. A0, I'm sorry, A60 for deck and A30 for, for bulkhead penetrations. So just uh, want to touch on 
the marine approvals and certifications that we do hold. If you'd like some more information on that, you can visit uh, blukerpipe.com. Um, also, we have a, uh, another site, blucher-marine.com, where you can find much more information. So again, I uh, appreciate it. I hope uh, we didn't take too much of your time there. Uh, my name again is Sam Bolt, Southeastern Regional Sales Manager for Blucher. Um, we have many brands. If you're interested in any presentations, uh, please feel free to reach out to myself. My email address is listed below there, sam.bolt at wattswater.com or your local rep. We'll be happy to set those up for you. Um, can't thank you guys enough for joining us. And if there's any questions, let me uh, pop over here to my other screen. I don't think we have any, um, but I hope you guys sure did enjoy this. If, if any questions do come in, we will uh, be sure to, to get back to you on those. Thank you so much.